This video is a stop motion video about a book called Masterpiece by Elise Broach. In the book, a boy named James and a beetle named Marvin go on an adventure to find four lost paintings after Marvin makes a drawing of the street outside of James's bedroom window. I'm James, and I'm the main character of Masterpiece by Elise Broach. I'm pretty shy, so I don't feel like I fit in, and I really don't have any friends, even though I try really hard to be kind. I love art. I don't really know why. I just always have. Probably because my dad is an artist. I love him lots and miss him, and I wish I could live with him instead of my mom and stepdad. Even though Marvin is a bug, I like him and respect him in his talents and smarts. We work really well together to find the four virtues. By the end of the book, Marvin is my best friend. I'm Marvin the Beetle, and I'm the other main character of Masterpiece. I live with the Pompidays in their apartment, under their sink. I'm really loyal, and I will do almost anything for my friends. I'm a bit of a daredevil, if I do say so myself. You don't believe me? Well, I drew the masterpiece drawing while James was asleep, as a risk of being discovered. I went down the drain of the sink to rescue Mrs. P's contact lens, and even saved my cousin from a turtle. I really love to draw, and I drew the masterpiece for James for his birthday, because he's a good friend. He and I work really hard to solve the Four Virtues case for the FBI. Hi, I'm Carl, James' dad. I used to be married to Mrs. Pompadour, but we split up a long time ago. Now James and I live apart. Now James lives with his mom and her new husband, Mr. Pompadour, someone I don't really like. I'm an artist, and I gave James a pen and ink set for his birthday. I wish I could spend more time with my son, but I work too much. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pompadour, James's mom. And I'm Mr. Pompadour, James's stepdad. I used to be married to Carl, but we split up a long time ago, and I married Mr. P here. I really want James to have friends, so I decided to invite all the kids in the apartment building to have a birthday party for him. I might be a little too strict on James, and I know I work too hard, but it's all for James. I want everyone to know how talented my son is. Yeah, so like Mrs. P just said, we're married. And I'm also pretty strict on James. But there's no such thing as too strict. You can ne never get anywhere in life if you're lazy. Something that Carl, James's dad, obviously never learned. I'm not a big fan of Carl's art, but I guess, hey, to each their own. Hi, I'm Denny, and I'm pretty sneaky. Everyone thinks that I am super nice because I pretend to help. But I'm really the one that stole the four virtues. But I had to. I just love them so much. You know, some people steal art just because they love it too much. Hi, I'm Christina, the museum director. I really care about James because he's such a thoughtful boy. The museum wouldn't have retrieved the stolen art if it weren't for him. I worry about him a lot, especially when he goes missing for a while before he calls us to let us know where he is. I really enjoy Carl's company, and we have a great date at the end of the book. I love eating, man, especially pizza. Parties are great for free food. Like, dude, it's all about football in my life. Hey, me too! I actually sleep with my football, because, like, who needs a pillow? Uh, I'm, like, so bored. But Fred and Joe are here, so I, like, had to come. Oh, I know, right? Me too. 
conga, conga, conga. At James's birthday party, the guests are having fun doing the conga line, but James is not participating. None of the party guests are actually his friends. His mom just invited a bunch of kids from their building. He's feeling, he is feeling left out and sad, and he's not even in the room. A picnic lunch outside, just another part of the party. James and Bob are eating, Sarah and Jane are bird watching, and Fred and Joe are playing football. They are all having fun, including James. Pass. Go long. Oh my gosh, Sarah, did you see that peregrine falcon? Ooh, cool. Yum. Crunch, crunch. Carl is leaving. Before he goes, Carl gives James a pen and ink set. Then Carl like, leaves. James, I have something for you. What is it? This. Cool. See you later. Bye. It's a long walk from Marvin the Beetle to get to James's bedroom to make the drawing. Must. Keep. Going. I'm so tired. Marvin is a talented artist, and he spends all night making the drawing for James. A little bit over there, then over there, maybe a touch over there. And done. It's morning. James wakes up and notices the drawing on his desk. Then, a parade of people come into his room to see the drawing. Whoa! Mom, come see this! What is it? <gasps> Honey, come see this. Yes? Oh, I think that James rubbed it from a museum or graving, engraving or something like that. I'm going to call Dad. Ten minutes later. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, did James make this? Wow, this is a very fine piece of art. I love it. In conclusion, I hope that you liked my video about Masterpiece by Elise Brooch. I liked the part where Marvin made the drawing while James was asleep. I also liked the part when James and Marvin found the four virtues. Overall, it was an okay book. I didn't really want to read Masterpiece at first. It didn't really seem interesting. After I finished reading it, it was okay. I don't really have much in common with anybody except James, and the only thing that we have in common is that we both have strict moms. Thanks so much for watching. The end.